Hey good people, Batavia here. So we're at the end of the season and we need to harvest tomatoes. See you in a few. Okie doke, so quick housekeeping items. Thank yous to those who like, watch, comment, share, and subscribe to Be Better Garden. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. And if you do, hit the notification bell. You'll be alerted each time I share more hashtag garden joy. All right, so I wanna talk in general how tomatoes did for me this season. There were some ups and downs. So let's dig in. Okie doke, so the cage baby was built in 2020 with the goal of growing tomatoes and not having to worry about any pests uh, trying to eat at or damaging them. It sits at about 30 feet long, four feet wide coming from the fence, and then about five feet tall. The first raised bed is seven by four, then there's a small walkway space. The middle bed is the largest, and it's 12 foot by four foot. And then there's another small walk space, and then there is the final bed that's seven foot by four foot. So this year, I crowded the cage baby a bit, which is one of my tendencies. I grew 11 different tomato plants inside of the cage, along with a few other pepper plants and things. But for tomatoes, I grew early girl, boxcar willy, and green zebra in one bed. The middle bed, I grew honeycomb, chef's blend, old German, mortgage lifter, and pineapple. And then the bed I'm working in now, I grew my paste tomatoes, those included Roma, San Marzono, and I'm harvesting the last of the Amish paste tomatoes now. So I found that because I end up growing tomatoes well into the fall, once my temperature drops down to about 50 degrees or lower, the tomatoes just take longer to ripen. So you'll find I'm harvesting quite a few green tomatoes. But I lucked up because I still have some pineapple tomatoes on the vine and there's a bit of color on a few of these. So I've since been able to bring them inside. They've ripened and I've been able to enjoy them, which is super nice at this time of year. Now the next set of tomatoes I'm harvesting is probably one of the more productive plants that I grew this year. That was the Boxcar Willie. And this was a new addition this year. I had started all of my other tomato plants from seed. And then I had an open space and saw this transplant in a garden center and so I bought it brought it home and planted it, and it did really well. This is my monster volunteer. I'm not sure of the variety, but I did plant this tomato last year. I'm pretty sure inside of the cage. But anywho, it volunteered, and I ended up getting about 25 pounds, including today's harvest, off of the plant. And that's pretty good for a volunteer, I think. But it was nice to be able to clean up this space and be able to comfortably walk through between the cage and the deck. I haven't been able to do that in a couple of months. But I ended up running out of steam. The day was long and so I called it a day for the backyard garden and then decided to come back the following day to wrap up in the front yard for my tomatoes. I have my free buckets here. I uh, focused on the green zebra plant and then I had one more small Cherokee purple tomato plant on the other side. But the majority of the tomato harvest came from the green zebra. It was actually the healthiest and most productive plant, I think all in all in the garden. And I don't know that it's that variety, but it's probably more so this plant had the least competition for water, for sun, for nutrients compared to those that were grown inside of the cage baby. Okie doke, so we're in a really good spot. We got all of our tomatoes off of the plants before our first frost. We were able to pull these off over the course of two days and pull up a bunch of plants as well to get ahead of that maintenance. Uh, but just a quick rundown. This is a mixture of tomatoes and this is just separated so I'll know to keep an eye on these. They either have green tomatoes that have some cracking that I want to make sure I use pretty soon or they have tomatoes that you know are pretty close to ripening and I want to make sure I keep an eye on those and begin using those. This is a mixture of early girls and Amish paste tomatoes. So early girl is something I grow every year. I get pulled into it with the thought of having a slicer earlier. Nothing fancy about the tomato itself you know. 
it kind of is just a red tomato um, and most of them for me and probably based on where I plant them and how many other plants are near it they're generally pretty small maybe a little bit larger than this normally but the Amish paste was surprisingly one of my favorites this year I grew three different paste tomatoes I tried Roma's again that was the first plant I ended up pulling it was pretty sickly this year I also tried San Marzono which I know is pretty popular however I really I wasn't crazy about it I mean it was definitely prolific but it didn't um, the size of the tomatoes really weren't that appealing to me so this is the container that includes all of my tomatoes from the volunteer plant that's been on the side of the the deck and in between the concrete and the deck so super pleased this is probably the third kind of size of this container that I've gotten out of off of that plant so a lot to be produced for a volunteer and then we have our five gallon bucket that's full almost entirely of green zebras the green zebra is one of my favorite tomatoes I actually had a bunch of them volunteer this year as well in the front yard garden and maybe even one in the backyard garden but I finally found a couple of other ways to use these tomatoes so I'm pleased about that this will probably always have a place in my garden I may depend on them volunteering next year we'll see but anywho um, I did pull a few more of the um, Cherokee purple and while there was some cracking for those tomatoes throughout the season and I can't say that it was the most prolific but it was a really good tasting tomato so for that reason alone I may try to grow it again next year and I'm glad that I have at least a few that I'm hoping will ripen and I'll be able to enjoy in a bit so our bigger container here and we'll talk I'll link a video where I talk a little bit about how to kind of get some free resources specifically buckets so all of this that I have these tomatoes in they were free right um, but for this container most of these are the I'll put the name on it it escapes me right now um, boxcar willy that's it so most of these are the boxcar willy um, there's some footage where I, I'm just continuing to pull them off of the plant off of the plant then I have a couple of pineapple tomatoes so pineapples I really enjoy I made some really great salsa using the pineapple tomatoes I mean it's a really big slicer so you wouldn't necessarily think use it for that but absolutely worked and I'm gonna grow it next year I'm pretty sure just because it made such an enjoyable tomato as a slicer and then also another purpose when it comes to using it for a salsa so yeah so thanks for spending some time with me if you have any questions or comments or suggestions feel free to drop them below and I shall see you all in the next one